It's got 120 buttons, weighs over 30 pounds, and costs over $10,000 new. But somehow the accordion doesn't get a lot of respect. If you say to anybody in the States, you play accordion, automatically they make fun of it. We won't go into the jokes or anything Art Van like Dam, one of the pioneers of jazz accordion, is on his second trip to a country where people are more likely to worship the instrument than to joke about it, Russia. The audience is, is unbelievable here. I get a standing ovation before I even, even start playing. In other parts of the world, one accordion in a room might be considered too many. But at the Gnason School of Music in Moscow, it's not unusual to see more than a dozen of them playing together. Keyboard accordions and button accordions, the Russian bayan. The Bayan Accordion Orchestra pumps out a wide variety of music with a definite fondness for swing. Don't tell these teenagers their choice of instrument isn't cool. The Gnason Academy has one of the best accordion faculties in the world, which is why 23-year-old Dima Paminov moved 2,000 miles from Siberia to study in Moscow. The accordion, uh, yes, it's a special instrument, but it's also unusual. The Russian people are more accustomed to the bayan because uh, the bayan is uh, associated with the Russian folk music. Mass produced in the Soviet Union, the bayan spread Russian folk traditions and classical European culture to the far reaches of the communist world. Modern day bayan music has come a long way since the days of Lenin. It may not always be playing in the most prestigious places, but it's never far from the spotlight. At the Kremlin State Concert Hall, Russia's most celebrated accordion player is rehearsing for a sold-out show. Valery Kovtun's professional career spans four decades. His mix of oldies, classical, and folk music manages to fill the 6,000-seat hall every year. When I hear the sound, my soul just takes off. The accordion is our national folk art, says Kovtun. It's the heart and soul of our culture. This year, the guest of honor was none other than Art Van Dam. Cultural diplomacy has always played a role in U.S.-Russian relations. While leaders may talk about pushing the reset button, a lot of other buttons are already at work. The fanciest button pushing was done by some of the younger players. It's really important that the young people continue what we started, says Koftun. But as to whether the accordion will ever make a comeback, Art has his doubts. It's just not accordion alone. It's music in general. All the groups, all it is, guitars and drums. How about a good trumpet player, a good sax player, a young kid? Where's he going to get a job? Optimistic about the future. I believe in my instrument, and I think uh, that uh, it will be in great demand. We just need a little bit of time. The accordion may be the ideal instrument for a country as full of contradictions as Russia, with its willingness to embrace Western culture on its own terms, never hiding its Slavic sensuality or its technical achievements, sometimes defying description, but always capable of embracing the gamut of human emotions. Dave Grout, CBS News, Moscow.